Minnesota cities are facing challenges to keep services running during these times of uncertainty. Reg Chapman spoke with Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry about what he's doing now so the city doesn't feel it later. Minneapolis must tighten its belt in order to get through this COVID-19 crisis. It's impossible to know the full scope of how this recession will impact Minneapolis, but we do know that the impact will be significant, and that's why we're taking serious steps now. Mayor Jacob Fry sent out a letter to city employees thanking them for the job they are doing and asking them to partner with him in preserving the workforce during these financially troubled times. Right now, our projections indicate a loss of somewhere between 100 and 200 million in revenue, uh, and that's a major hit. Mayor Fry is proposing a wage and hiring freeze. He would also like to see a delay in large purchases and wants to stop discretionary spending eliminating non-essential travel and training, and he knows he needs help to make it happen. We've got contracts with our labor partners, um, and they need to be partners with us in getting to these final determinations. Mayor Fry believes federal dollars will make it to Minneapolis, but it may take time. We are counting on a far more significant federal package in coming through. Uh, as the legislation is presently set up, uh, the monies flow directly to cities that are above a 500,000 person population. Now, as you know, Minneapolis is barely below a 500,000 population, which means that the monies will first need to go through the state and then often, uh, ultimately to the city. He believes working together is the only way to save lives and keep the pilot light that is our economy lit. The city is strong. Uh, we are resilient and we're going to get through this. Reg Chapman, WCCL 4 News.